Hi Aries, this is me, Renee Michelle, and you're on my channel, Chronicles of a Sh Hoodoo Spiritualist. Welcome to your monthly reading for June of 2016. I want to thank you guys for the likes, the shares, and the comments. They greatly appreciate it. I also want to say welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. Okay? Spiritual awareness is up, people. Also want to say, if I'm doing spiritual work for you and I told you to take the bath and you haven't talked to me for the ending part of your spiritual journey, please give me a contact ASAP. If you haven't taken a bath and I told you to take it a week ago, you really need to contact me ASAP. I want to talk to you. Where are you at in the stage of getting your bath taken and done? Also, I picked the five for the spiritualists. Well, they picked themselves, but they were the first five in my mailbox. And we will be meeting on the Tuesday. I'll tell you guys what Tuesday and what time coming up soon. Also, there is no waiting list for that. I pick whoever ends up in my mailbox, and there's a reason for that, and I'll do a short video, okay? Also, what I want to say. The special for June, for those of us that aren't cursed and don't need spiritual work, is the special is one hour for $25. If you feel like you're in need of spiritual work, you can contact me. Um, I mean, you can um, book the, the $15 um, consultation reading for a half an hour. And we'll find out if there's anything on you. Or is there, if you just, you know, everything good except for the love life. If we can hook up the love life. Everything good except the health. We can hook up the health. All of that coincides. All right? And you can do that at hudospiritualist.net. Top right hand side, always. No matter where you stroll on my website, you go up to the top right-hand side. It says book online. If you are in contact me, then you're in the wrong thing to book. Okay, Aries, let's see what's going on for you for the month of June. The four of wands. So underneath the surface, this is usually card of happiness, but I just feel like it's about celebration. Birthday party, anniversary, Father's Day, celebrating, um, you know, graduation. Coming into this month. We had the temperance card and the knight of coins. So I feel like you gain some form of emotional balance and you're moving forward carefully. You want to you don't want to just go go out there and do whatever you have to do. You want to take your time and make a plan. And that's what's coming into this month. Very anxious about moving forward, right? Very anxious about moving forward. We have the Nine of Swords, which means up nights, stressing over how and which way am I going to go? Because this is a standing in the doorway card with the past behind you and the future and all the world in front of you. And so you're really panicking about that because I feel like in between you and 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 getting free, um, Aries is a uh, um. It's a very juvenile air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, and you're trying to move forward, and this asshole is standing in the way, and you need to do the judgment card and get rid of him. <sighs> the 
coming towards the middle of the month, you're very confused. And it's right under that nine of swords. So there's a lot of confusion going on, hey? Yeah. There's a lot of confusion going on. A lot, a lot of confusion. And you're quarreling and you're bickering with people, right? And you're looking back on the past and saying, oh, you're looking back on old relationships and old situations instead of focusing on the baby, instead of focus on the future, which is the baby and the present, which is the flowers. But I feel like it's you're 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 reminiscing about the the, the 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 past, the past love. And I also feel like you're reminiscing about a time when this person was nice and good to you, right? <sighs> There's there's something there's something on your love life as far as spiritual work is concerned for some of you, but for others of you, right? You want to remove this person from your world so that you can start new in love. Okay. It's all about removing this person, right? Because towards the end of the 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 the, the, the month, there's the tower card right next to the love card, which is right under this quarreling card. So that tells me that there's some form of devastation that happens in with the romantic partner that you have. And I feel like this person, um, if they act in juvenile like the swords, that, that page of swords, that means that they're using their intellect against you. Like they're making you feel stupid mentally. Like they keep using whatever they know. Oh, you stupid, you didn't know that. Like they ask you questions to set you up. If not, in some form or fashion, mentally and verbally, they are uh, bratty and, and abusive, right? But for me, what I see this is, is that you, you, if, if you feel like if you had a true love relationship, you would feel grounded and secure. Right, and I also feel like for some of you, there is a suitor outside of this this kitty person that is that you realize by looking on the past that you messed up when you walked away from that person. Right, this guy is looking head forced towards this love card, so I feel like even this might be the person that's abusing you now. Like I said, just very verbally and using mental things and being. If 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 it is the air sign and it's not this sign, it's not an earth sign, like a Taurus, Capricorn, or Taurus, Capricorn, what's the other one? Come on, Virgo, boom. So if it's not one of them, then this person, this air sign, pretends to be like they got all their money together. Lord, I make money. I got it together. Like they, they like, I'm... I'm the CEO of Apple. Meanwhile, he work in the mail room. That's this is this guy, right? By the end of the month, you feel like everything is moving so fast. Like, wait a minute, how did I get here, right? What What is going on? Why am I in this situation? Okay. More abuse. The outcome of the month is acknowledging abuse and, and drawing into yourself, trying to stay away from this abuser and trying not to be, 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 be attacked. This is all could be a spiritual. You know, spirits can abuse. Curses are abusers. <sighs> all right then, guys. That's it, Aries. Good luck. Stay blessed. And I'll show you. See you next month. You know I love you.